Welcome to our review on the carbon cycle. So as we mentioned in our previous video, one of the key minerals that will be actually cycled through our ecosystem is carbon. Now, the carbon cycle itself is the process by which that carbon is going to be cycled through the atmosphere, the earth, plants and animals. Now, I've given you a little picture there that summarizes the whole process. What we can see if we start off at the very top there with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, there's only one arrow pointing away from that which is photosynthesis. So the only way in which our carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere is through photosynthesis in our plants. So from there, we can see there are two arrows. The first one is that the plants are eaten by the animals, so that will transfer the carbon from the plant to the animal. And the second one is decomposition, which will occur if the plant dies. From our animal, we can see decomposition again but we also have an arrow going from both plant and animal back into the atmosphere, which is respiration, because all living things respire, remember. And that also shows us a third respiration arrow, which comes from our carbon in decaying matter and waste, because as those decomposers are actually carrying out their role, they are respiring and therefore releasing carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. What we also find is that some of that dead material is going to, over millions of years, become fossil fuels if it's buried underground. And then when we dig up those fossil fuels, which is natural gas, coal and oil, hopefully you remember that, then if we burn them, we release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere again. So to summarise down into very easy to remember little chunks, when we're talking about carbon dioxide, it's released into the atmosphere by three processes. The first one, respiration, which is carried out by all living organisms, and that's obviously transferring energy from the chemical stores in food. So we make carbon dioxide and that goes back into the atmosphere. Secondly, decomposition. So when anything's died, then the decomposers, the bacteria and the fungi, break down their remains and they release carbon dioxide as they respire to do this. Third and final one, combustion. And this is where we're going to burn those fossil fuels, which are a trapped store of carbon. So as soon as we burn them, then what we find, carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. There's only one process by which our carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere, and that is photosynthesis. So remember, photosynthesis will take place in any green plants, algae and phytoplankton, and it then takes that carbon dioxide from the air combines it with water to make glucose and oxygen. Once we've made that glucose, then that can actually be used to make more complex carbohydrates such as starch, and that carbon becomes part of the plant's extra biomass. And remember, that can then be passed on to the animals when the animals feed on the plants. Last thing we need to consider is how the carbon dioxide levels in our atmosphere vary throughout different time periods. So if we consider just a 24 hour period, so a single day first of all, then what's actually happening is during the daylight hours, we will have photosynthesis. Because remember, photosynthesis requires light to happen. So what we find is carbon dioxide is only being removed from the atmosphere during the day. Whereas respiration, which releases carbon dioxide, happens at a consistent rate throughout day and night. So what we find is that there will be constant levels of carbon dioxide being released, but the amount that's being removed by photosynthesis does vary depending on if it's day or night. The second time period we should consider the variation in the carbon dioxide levels in our atmosphere is just over a long period of years. So if we think about how the carbon dioxide levels in our atmosphere have changed over the past few decades, then I've given you a graph in the bottom left there that shows you how they've increased. And the main reason behind that is down to human activity. So because we're now burning more fossil fuels, because we're cutting down more trees through deforestation, then that means that our carbon dioxide levels have increased. And as a result of that, we're seeing contribution there to global warming. So hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe how carbon is removed from the atmosphere. You can describe how carbon is added to the atmosphere. 
and you can also explain why the atmospheric carbon dioxide levels are changing at different time periods.